Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Sharmishta and this is English with Sharmishta. Today I am going to talk about the use of some prepositions that you should know. There are some prepositions about which people remain confused. Sometimes while speaking or writing you are confused which preposition to use. They may sound simple but you will know they are confusing when you are going to use them. For example, what should we use? Agree with or agree to. Which preposition should be used with agree? With or to? You will see that in many sentences with is used with agree and in some sentences to is used with agree. What is the difference? When you are using agree along with a person, you use with. Like in this matter, I agree with you. And when the agreement is not with a person but with something non-person, then your sentence can be like, I agree to your proposal. So when it is a person, it will be with. And when it is not a person, it will be to. He agrees with me. He agrees to my arrangement. My arrangement is not a person. So to comes after agree. So I think now it is clear to you when to will come after agree and when with will come after agree. Another confusing thing is when people use the words junior or senior, people tend to make this mistake of using than. There is a tendency to say junior than you or senior than you. But it should not be like that. You have to say to after junior or senior. Those boys are senior to me. This girl is junior to me. Unlike other adjectives of comparison where than is used, like we can say, he is taller than me. She is shorter than me. But junior and senior are not simply comparative degrees of adjectives. They are used to make comparisons, of course, but two is used after that. So whenever you want to use these words, junior or senior, which are very common words, do use two after them. So I am senior to you or I am junior to you. Never use than after senior or junior. Again another word prefer. Prefer means liking something more than the other thing. So if I say I like tea more than coffee, I use than. But if I use the word prefer, I prefer tea to coffee. Two comes after tea because I am using the word prefer. I prefer summer to winter. I prefer mountains to sea. So whenever I will use prefer, I have to use to. So let's come to the next word that is beneficial. Both to and for are used after beneficial. Beneficial means something that is of some advantage. So when I use beneficial for a person like this scheme is beneficial to Rohan. Rohan is a person so this scheme is beneficial to. This food is beneficial for your health. Your health is not a person. When it is not a person but an object, reason or idea, we use for after beneficial. Now let's come to the next word, surround. When there are something around you, you are surrounded and you use with, with surround. If there are good people around you, if there are friends around you, you can say I am surrounded with good people. I am surrounded with my friends. So along with surround comes with. The next word for today is resistance. When there is the word resistance that is something going against someone with resistance comes the preposition to. There is a lot of resistance to the new law. The next word is change. If we are talking about some change we use in after the word change. I see a lot of change in your behavior. The next word is difficulty. With difficulty, the prepositions in and with are used. Both the prepositions in and with are used with difficulty. In is used when we are going to use a verb after difficulty. Like, I have difficulty in working with you. I have difficulty in looking at the bright things. Or I have difficulty in rowing this boat. Along with difficulty comes with when we are talking about something which is a noun like I have difficulty with the process of teaching. 
I have difficulty with the language in which he is speaking. So you see how you can use both in and with with difficulty. Now let's come to the last word for today and that is the preposition that should be used with reason. Along with reason you can use to and for. When you will use to, you have to use the verb in its original form. And when you will use for, you have to add ing to the verb. Like, I will tell you my reason to go there. And I will tell you the reason for going there. So more or less both the sentences mean the same. There is a slight difference in how you like to use it. So these were some of the prepositions that I wanted to discuss today. Sometimes people remain confused about which preposition to use. In this video, I tried to remove some of the confusions. If you have some more confusions, you can ask in the comment section. And that's all I had to say today. I hope you found it useful. If you found it useful, do like it, share it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And keep reading, listening and practicing a lot of English. And of course, do take a very good care of yourself till I come with my next video. Bye for today.